Well, I have read the statement in which the former Deputy Senate President, Chief Ovie Omo Agege, encouraged Nigerians to support the government of Bola Tinubu. Everybody wants a good Nigeria. Everybody wants a better Nigeria. We're not looking for a Nigerian uh, government where we just criticize, criticize, criticize. Every critic is a genuine patriot. It's because we want things to go well for our country. That is why we say what we say and we do what we do. You know, but I find what the um, respected Ovie Omoagege said as selfish. Selfish is somebody that I have great respect for. So I dare not disrespect him in action or in speech. But to be honest, we must say it as, as it is. Selfish in the sense that today in Urobo land, in your, in your in local government area, in Ugeli South, in Ugeli South, in your area, there is ethnic cleansing of the Urobo people in Okwama. You have not spoken about that. You are telling us to support Tinubu. Just to advance your political career. Oh, Onologu. Onanafoli there. Onanafoli. You have been silent about the killing of Nigerians, of Urobo people in Okwama. Killing 17 soldiers was bad enough. It was criminal. But anybody that kills an Urobo man or kills any civilian is also a criminal. And such a person must be brought to book. And people like you must speak out. Onologu, you must speak out. They are burying Urobo people in Okwama. They seal the state that even the governor cannot get in, the commissioner of police cannot get into the community. Where is that done? The same people through which the army should have gotten information about those that killed the 17 soldiers. You now start to kill the people, you scatter from their homes, and our women are in the forest. Women, our Urubu women are now using leaves to clean during menstruation because they are in the forest, they cannot come out. Their children are now eating grasses and strange leaves. They are telling us to support Tinubu. Is that is that the priority now? We Tinubu allow the killing that is going on in Urobo land to happen in Yoruba land. Urobo men, there is what we call ethnic cleansing. There is ethnic cleansing going on in Urobo land now. People are being killed. The houses are being raised. People are being buried secretly by the army. If not, tell us why they are bringing in caterpillars for investigation. Is that hard to investigate? They went even 50 kilometers from, from Okwama, Olota. They beat somebody to death who is in the mortuary now. They beat somebody and busted his eardrums. Now he can no longer hear. They beat another one to paralysis. And we are telling us to support the government in the midst of huge injustice against our people, the robo people. I live abroad. But we hear everything going on back home and our hearts are heavy. Our hearts are heavy.